another edition again of the program, The Banter, and we are very excited to be here. I particularly am so excited. You know, whenever we come in here to sit and have conversation, be rest assured that we are not just coming to talk, we are coming to, you know, give you meaningful information that will definitely do you good. We don't just talk, we speak around issues related to individuals, governments, the economy, social media, and all of that. Like I said earlier, you must have a take home. If you are just joining us, I want to urge you to go on our social media platform, be part of the uh, conversation, drop your comments, like, share. Yes, so I come back to you guys. Hello guys. Hi. Hello guys. Oh, Hello guys. Oh really? <laughs> okay, so I'm here now and it's good to see you again. Um, okay, I'll see you after the program. <laughs> okay, so but I came with a um, lot of kisses to everyone, our fans, our viewers, and every other person on this table. Amaka, what's up? Before I answer, you was expecting the light to say something on that kiss. So what you is see, he just smiled now. He oh, just smiled. <laughs> you two like money. You too like money. I'm fine, Grace. I'm okay. I'm, yeah. I'm happy to be here. That's always, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Jove of Vienna. Well, you know, it is, it gives me such an enormous <laughs> pleasure to be here today. I, I just love being around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Well, it's my pleasure to be here once again. Mm -hmm. But I really appreciate you coming back on this program. Wow. I didn't, go, I didn't, I didn't go for a long that's time. Lovely. That's lovely. It's just, you yes, know? that was just a few <laughs> days. I was just away for a couple of days and that's it. Mm, seeing you on this set, always ginger my swag. Oh yeah, ah. I am a ginger. Okay, so that, so that man at that corner, I don't know. Ah, wow. This man that wants me to bribe him before uh, he will come and sit on the table. Yeah. Let me tell the whole world. You, you, you know how it is now. Uh, you know how it is. So what's up, Delight? What's up, my friends? It's your boy, Delight. Mm. Uh, I still remain loyal. Mm. Are you sure? Yes, no, definitely. Okay. 100%, 100%. We need to check that out. Trust me. We need to check that out. I, 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 I think you the last... You ask me how I'm doing now. Okay, so how are you doing? Based on God, I'm fine. <laughs> but based on... <laughs> based, based on, on my... It's in Obio. Okay, so... I've heard you saying, um, did you say any light is a light, Abi? Mm. There's this, there's yes, this phrase. Yes, I want to get yes, it. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a discussion for another day. Can you imagine? Uh, we'll, did you just give me we'll, a gay? We'll did you just give me a gay? You, you see. One O. All right, guys, you're welcome. We'll just go straight in to the topic of today. Yes, um, like I mentioned earlier, we, we talk about... Um, we bring issues related to our personal lives, you know, individuals, the community, um, stuff on the social media, of course, government. And today we want to focus on government, yes. But anytime we're talking about government, don't be surprised. It doesn't have to be uh, um, bashing, bashing. I mean, they do good things, you know. Just, we are humans, you know. So we sometimes we do some mistakes. And sometimes we do things that people will come and applaud us, come and praise us and all of that. So the story I'm bringing up today, I don't know how you see it. <laughs> I don't know how you see it, but for me, um, it's a two-way thing. First is a way, is a step in the right direction. And, but if we look inward, I think um, there are concerns, yes. So I'm just going to read. The Nigerian Police Force, NPF, has recruited no fewer than 50 repentant talks as police special constabularies in Kano State. So the State Commissioner of Police, CP Mohammed Husseini Gumel, confirmed this during the passing out parade, POP, of the repentant talks after completing the two-month intake training. CP Gumel, in a statement by the command spokesperson, SP Abdullahi uh, Haruna said the 50 repentant talks were out of 222 who initially laid down their arms in the state and volunteered to work with the police. You know, so um, for me, like I said, it's um, a step in the right direction, but there are concerns. So, but let me leave all of that. So I'll just come straight to Juve. So this is the issue. What do you think? Well. Nigeria. Uh, well, it's it's 
I don't know if I should say this is welcome or not. Um, <laughs> some things get you. Yoruba will say, also yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, I know you don't understand. No, it's, um, no I understand. You do. Also, <laughs> 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 I, I really don't know how how to place this. Uh, we've, we're beginning to have some, um, We at one particular point we had uh, repentant uh, insurgents or terrorists. Sure, yeah. uh, we take them out of the country, we bring them back to they were rehabilitated. Uh, rehabilitate. So we spend our money <laughs> to rehabilitate people. Okay. You know, uh, now these ones, they surrender themselves. So why police? Why not maybe vigilante why why police and it's a two month and for you to go to the police academy six months even at that they still the cadets they come out and we still got issues with them but this one's two months and you think they are supposed to be reintroducing to the society i mean we should ask ourselves you know you spend government money the people's money they to do Nigerians. such they are they're, Nigerians. They are Nigerians, yes. There are other Nigerians that, that could have been... There are people that, that wanted to join the police force when, whenever you have, and you don't take them. Mm. And because 222 supposedly thugs decided to surrender, and you think they should come into what the... Not, what what are the yastics? You know, mm. what trainings were given them? Are we Same. sure these guys have been rehabilitated well enough that they can act in this capacity? Those are questions begging for answers. Okay, so let's come to Amaka. So I'll, I'll continue from where Juvie left off. The question is, is it good development to me? Okay. Imagine we had like other talks in different states or different parts of the country. Okay. Repenting and joining the force. But we're talking about the police force. Okay. The body of security in Nigeria. You hear it. So have they prepared their mind? to want to be in the police force. What is their agenda? Is it to protect lives of the people? Or are they just coming there because they were projected just to be there? Like, there are so many questions that need to be answered. But I, I see that it's welcome to the police force. Okay. They are repentant um, talks. So they said, okay, let me let me paint it in a way that, now they said, a thief. What's your repentant tip? Eh? If you want to start a tip, you have to think like a tip. Mm -hmm. Now, as this is for repentant talk now, if they put them out there to go and catch talk, they know the nukes and crannies. They already know the secrets. They already know how the tactics and, and all of that. Yeah. So it's just like you putting um, someone that was once out there to go and bring that kind of people out mm. there. So I feel like it's a good development. Okay, so, thank you. So picking it from where Amaka stopped, now you know this is the nature of this person initially before you bring him or her in, and you are now sending this person to, to a platform where he or she is coming from, you know, to go, you know, walk around it and just deliver. I mean, it's a two-way thing. I want to ask, do you think that's um, the best thing to do? And secondly, let's look at the advantage. Don't you think um, it's part of um, um, um community it will give more engagement in the community and also more manpower to the police force in Kano State. Well uh, actually what I believe the function of the Nigerian police is is to protect lives and property. You see the idea of bringing in repentant talks into the Nigerian police mm. I think it doesn't go well with me. Okay. Because first we need to as an individual, as an individual, as we are all seated, seated here, we have our own psychological issues. How far has the Nigerian police gone evaluating their psychological mentality? Mm. Because you can't just bring in a dog and be trained for two months and you expect that dog to perform very well. It is uncalled for. So are you saying that there are tendencies that it could go back to what I'm what saying is that they are coming I, from my own level they will of, begin to do to my some, own level of understanding, yes. I don't think they are capable of doing anything in the Nigerian police. Mm. I think I'm going to strike you there on something. Okay. okay. These people are they were once taught. Okay. For them to want to join the police force, that means their mind has been made 
How are you sure that they in wanted to join Lagos, the Lagos, Lagos, no, last How are you sure that they wanted to join the Nigerian police or they are forced to join the Nigerian police? Police are professional. Okay, so police are professionals. They are supposed to be professionals. Yes. And when you deal with civilians, their minds have been Okay, so let's 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 come to let's come. Madam, please let me break it down a bit. Okay. In the Nigerian police. There are different departments in the Nigerian police. Yes. Sure. Where are they going to fit in? Oh. We have the information department. We have surveillance in the department. So, so, so that's why they said it, they, they are, are const the um, constabularies. Yes. Yes. So that's their con yes, they are constable. And so a two months in 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 camp or whatever training yes. is sufficient for them. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying Lagos has tried I this. See, I don't Lagos see, has tried see, this, see, and we have not succeeded. Let's, let's, let's come let, to. Let, let me not be misquoted here, eh? but I don't think there's any difference in operation when it comes to a talk and a police. <laughs> that, no, yeah, no, 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 that, no, no, no. Okay, no. let's come no, to the light. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to paint something in terms of uh, in terms of what tactics. I okay, so, okay, so let's come, to, let's come to I, the I light. Really, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like the let's, police that much, let's but come please, you to, can't compare a let's, police man let's, let's, with Okay, that's fine. I'm that's fine. fine. I'm not them. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> We've not gotten there yet. The show has just started. So, let's come to the light. Do you think these people will be able to um, manage the ethical um, standard okay. of um, Nigerian police force? And do you think they will be able to deliver credibly? Okay. Um, there's a part we are skipping out. Okay. Uh, you read it, but oh, okay. I think based on the arguments I've heard, yes, um, we are not um, arguing towards that area. I mean, it could so be it area said, we'll still touch before the end of the it conversation. Said CP Gumel, in a statement by the command spokesman, SP Abdullahi Haruna, said. 50, the 50 repentant talks were, were out, out of, of the 222 who initially who laid down their arms down their in, arms the in the states and volunteered, and to, work volunteered the to work with the police. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, we are in a country whereby if people are engaged in this kind of um, factors, um, it's going to be difficult for the public to be able to trust them yes. and the police themselves know this. That's why they went further to state that it was just 50 out of the 222 who repented and laid down their arms. That is, when they were caught, they did not fire back and the issue did not escalate. We must put that into consideration. That's for responding to you based mm -hmm. on the factor that they were picked. Mm -hmm. Now, on another factor, this is not the first time um, whereby we're having uh, talks or criminals recruited into helping. Um, statistics have shown even um, before um, U.S., Colombia in the late 2000s, 2001, when programs like Desami, programs like um, pr uh, Protect the Neighborhood uh, were initiated, um, there was statistics done that they will, it would be easier to help them fight crime that is ongoing in a community or in a neighborhood. Why am I saying so? The criminal, um, the crimi um, the criminal offenses that are carried out in the neighborhood are not just done based on knowledge from nowhere. The knowledge is gotten from the insiders. Mm. You get. So I just see it as a tactics to deal with crime. Now you have committed the crime. I've committed the crime. It's going to be easier for you to know all the loopholes. It's going to be easier for you to know the areas whereby all these um, criminal activities are carried out. It's going, you are going, I think the idea is to just pick out from their own point of view how this criminal offense is going to go out and how the police themselves can be able to. So um, on that part, and another thing is, I see it as a way of not just throwing this uh, mind. Because to commit an offense is not something that a stupid person can do. Mm. It takes planning, it takes tactics, and... Um, hard work too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So okay. Kano so let me has, let me take Kano it from there. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm coming to. Kano has yeah, Before banga. you you pick you the you're gonna say this. Hold on. Hold on. You're gonna say this. So it's let me just allowed. let me come. this. talking about. So let me let me just pick it from okay. there. So um, talking about uh, um, throwing away these people. I wanted to speak to these people as volunteers. You know, when you just come out to say, this is an activity I want to be part of. This is something I want to be part of. 
do you think it's supposed to go through? Yes, there's, they are volunteers, but do you think they are still supposed to go to, uh, uh, um, um, what is it called, the recruitment strategy, the profile strategy? Do you think these guys, do you think there's a need for them to go through that process? Already, and what are better? Are I know, now. we are just having the conversation. They already have been recruited. So, so, you know, like you said, like he also mentioned that there are departments. And there are processes, mm -hmm. right? You don't just pick someone and say, you, stay here. So do you think the proper thing would that we don't know what measures anyway, which we are supposed to do more findings on this. But I'm saying that do you think they were supposed to go through appropriate channels? And let me tell you, you see, not all those that are uh, not learned that go into crime. You see people that are well learned, graduates, yeah go into crime yeah, so kind of crime. you understand so among these people we never can tell what if we have crime? if we have graduates that that. do you understand what i'm saying we never can tell among these and, talks and also, mind you, they they not graduated. you never so can tell you can make effective decisions do you get so let's just yeah, have so you speak let's, to this let's let's, let's, the let's look at the to them will be low. Yes, let's, yes let's look at the peculiarity i don't know how many of you have been to kano here so when you say you are bringing in repentant 50 repentant thugs to do what exactly to aid. To aid who? Kano is, its population is more than 15 million. Exactly. How many of them are willing to join the police force? Voluntary. Why because didn't you, they did can we, can, could we well. have taken these guys to farms? Could we have taken their energy well, to somewhere else? Yes. 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 How yes. many yes. of the cyber crime, how many of the cyber crime offenders are we taking into AFCC? What mm. are we did saying as a nation? Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to when you wear their mind that US does that. Of course, there are yes. ways. There are ways to have conversation with these people. How many of them have, as the government, know what they want to do. the police? How many of them have they integrated into the system? How many of you now, want to hold on. Let, 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 no, 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 no. I'm, I don't want to sidestep. We are looking at. Hold up. Let, 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 let me just conclude on this. We, okay, hold on. Let's hold on. Let's allow him. Allow him this, make his wait, point. Wait, Mr. Jubi, do you know the reason why Nigeria Constitution changed? The name from Nigeria prison to correctional homes. Mm. Penitentiary from the word penitentiary, Philadelphia. Yeah. It was for repentance. Definitely. But is that what it is? Penitent. Uh, you, uh, we saw a video of Nigerian prison one yes. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that where you want to put someone to yes. think straight? Wait, no. So what are we saying? Are we not just? Are we trying to? For for me, crime dealing with crime is just be, beyond. I have strength. It's intelligence. Okay, so, so, so let me. Do okay. you understand? Okay. It's a let high me, level no, no, see, no, no, detective, no, criminal detective, just, uh, just have your homicide, opinion, I mean. and all that. It takes a high level of detention. And if the cadets we've been having this far are not doing so much, oh. how do you okay, think so this ones will give us two, to ask two months? Will we'll do so any difference? This, this, initi um, this initiative has not been tested in this country. So, so, so I, I'm even coming this there. This is a new initiative. It, it's been now you with, are. It's been tested are with insurgents. With insurgents. It's been yes. tested you with insurgents. Are, what are, is the success rate? You are only. You are only using. What is the success no, rate no, with the insurgents? You are only yes. using. You are only looking at this from the bad point of it. It's okay. not bad. Now you have to. I'm, you have to. Balance. I'm dealing with the real issue here. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. So calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down, please, please, please. Let's calm down. So um um we need to wrap up quickly, but. We are going to have our take on this. So, probably, I mean, let me just put it straight. Could it be because, um, like you mentioned, the population, 15 uh, million and all of that, probably because um, we know up north, there are a bit of, um, um, I don't want, what word is best now, probably disadvantages to, you know, the, the things they could do, maybe access they have to a lot of things compared to, you know, the south and other region. So probably this is why they feel, okay, since these people are volunteering, let's accept them. Let's so that they, they could have something doing as well. Like the Yoruba will say that um, it's I, an idle hand that the devil will use. So probably when they get them busy, genuinely, you know, they would, they would do what is right. So, I mean, while we have our take, don't we think... It's a way to keep them busy and, of course, completely take them out of crime. Let's just start from you. Okay, there's one thing to be repentant and there's another thing to be genuine. Genuinely, repentant. you know. Yeah. Those, are now, the, those are the factors. I don't know what's at the back of their mind Fine. for doing that. Nobody knows. It could be genuine. It could mm -hmm. not be genuine. 
we don't know but i feel the police need to do a thorough check on this paper okay psychologically so, so timing so that, that speaks to the timing having yes. two months what enough time do you have to do the checking and balancing to be sure that these people are genuinely repentant. You need an extensive time for that because these people were one stop. Okay. It's not easy for you to just repent all of a sudden. Okay. Why I say it's a welcome development, I also say that it's not easy for you to just wake up one morning and say, Oh, I want to stop this character. I want to change this life and go into a new life. It is not easy. So the police need to do a thorough drilling, thorough check on these people because most of them may not be genuinely repentant. Okay. Thank you. Let's have it. So let's have it. So let's let's have it. Well, let's I, have your I understand, I understand um, the point Juvie is trying to make. Uh, we are in a society whereby. Um, the insecurity rates, whether openly or not openly, mm. is very high. Yes. And um, we have to be careful who we bring into our security mm -hmm. um, system. Because mm. our security is meant for protection of, of life. Of course. And, um, so you don't property. bring in to, so to endanger the people, people the more. We're endangering yes. the lives and property to come and even become the security. Because before you know it, um, it's like a virus. It yes. will spread around the force. I understand his point where, that he's trying to make. But we must understand that inside the police force, they are actually good people. Definitely. It's not all, Definitely. It's not all the police. Now, this is just an initiative from only Kano State, not the entire Nigeria. So I believe that there are good people there. And um, we should also look at using or utilizing the minds of those criminals to favor our system mm. you get mm -hmm. so it's not every time that we must do if you if you don't beat them join that them. no All but right, we must be you. able to utilize these guys and to be able to incorporate them into our own system and bring and the best out of them how we can defeat crime using their mind mm -hmm. it has worked in different places in different mm -hmm. countries so i don't see any reason Why it's only it here. only take good people for this project to be able to work that's it thank you so let's have um Mr. Francis? Well, actually, as I was, as I said earlier on, that the job of the Nigerian police is to protect lives and property. See, bringing these repentance guys into the Nigerian police and train them for two months, I don't think is enough. Because already, the Nigerian police is not formidable. And we have different sections in the Nigerian police. Where are these great guys going to be fitting? I said constant and um, constable. Mm. Okay. So let's have it. It's not the rank that matters most. You are talking about constable. That's the rank. There is constable in the, in the uh, what they call it, criminal department. There is constable in the information department. Are you getting my point? You see, I think the Nigerian, the Nigerian government need, needs to do more in order to encourage the Nigerian police and people who are willing to join the Nigerian police. Okay. It is not about the repentance. But what I think is just that, because the... Well, what you mean more? No, 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 please, let's just, let's just, just have it, just wrap up, please. You see, in Kanu, the, the, the level of crime in Kanu, I think is on the high. Here you understand. So what I think the police in Kanu are trying to do is to use the thug to get the criminals. Okay. All right. Thank you. Are you getting my point? Thank so, you. Thank you. I Thank think you, they need Francis. to do more. Thank you, Francis. Let's have Juvie. Um, it's it's the the Nigerian police is not just maybe at this level. Maybe they are just doing it. Um, I remember a case in Ilori. There was a guy Ogidon before he was uh, eventually taken out. He was a cultist, and the police saw that they could use him to get more cultists, which they did until he was taken out. So it's not entirely new. Lagos has done it. But we're saying, let's be careful how we go about these things. Mm. You see, police, were, we've had a case where the police had gone on strike because of their pay. Mm. So if these guys don't get money that they used to get before, do you think they'll be true <laughs> to this thing? Those are issues we need to really, you so can. police need to do their due, due, due diligence. Diligent. It's not just about doing one laudable project so that they see we are doing we're the doing new where? stuff. <laughs> Let's it's check okay. the Let's other things. You did already. No, just, okay, one you did. half cent. Okay, from me to them, the police force. Just can you not give this people a go? For now. 
Yes, definitely. All right. Yes. No problem. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for your contribution. Um, like I said earlier, you know, when we come in here, we don't just come here to, to just speak, but we say things that are very key and important that we know in a way or the other, it will affect you um, positively. I want to say to the Nigerian police force too, um, they should, please, I, I take it from where you stop, please, no guns, no guns, you know, as much as possible, let the training continues. Probably you do a two-month training just to um, 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 position them and bring them into the system. But while they are now, you know, integrated into the system, I think there should be a continuous training upon training and programs, rehabilitative programs that could help them come out completely of their previous um, um, state of life or, or situation, if I'm put it that way. And that's it. We need enough time. Yorubas will say, oh, lelo, mese, oh, leto. I must say that... Um, if it is genuine, it's a good thing because it's a thief that will understand the full steps of yes, you know. So it's a, it's a good step towards um, a good direction. And I want to say um, it won't be a bad idea if we have more of this, but let's do it in the right way. Let's do it in the right way. Thank you very much. We'll be going on a short break at the moment. When we come back, we'll go straight into the next topic for the day. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, amazing people. I want to believe you did not leave. You are still there, yes. And we are back. We are back. So we just go straight into the next topic. We want to look at um, um, a new story we got, and that has to do with um, House of Representatives um, to procure 300 Prado SUVs at the cost of 130 million naira each for um, a colleague for okay members in accordance with existing procurement laws. So each <laughs> House of Representative member will be having uh, a Prado SUV um, Prado at um, a cost of 130 million naira, and they will be buying 300. Please, can someone just help me with that calculation? <laughs> no, it's 360 members in the House of Representatives. Okay. We have 360 members. Okay, so but they are saying they are buying 300. Uh, they are buying 300 SUVs. Yes, uh, Prado. So let's take it. So 300, 360, there are no much, um, you know, difference. I mean, one, 130 million naira times 300. That's huge. And... Very big. Okay, so for me, right? <laughs> let me not be sarcastic. That's the conversation. <laughs> That's the conversation. So let's uh, look at the advantage. The SUV is manufactured in Nigeria. Like, that's like seriously? That's, that's one question we can No, if, if, if it's not manufactured here, then... The then question is how many... How many manufactured vehicles in Nigeria did we do, do Armored SUVs? You know? Whether it's Armored or not, are there people who assemble No, the reason why I'm saying... Here? The reason of, why of I'm course saying we know we, we, is because... They are going to be using um, security, security as features. an excuse. I, I, I'm only saying, I I'm only I'm saying if, if so, we are complaining of foreign direct investment, yes. and we could take this amount out. I remember there was a particular time, the last assembly, they said they couldn't take a particular brand mm. that would yes. be uh, yes. because it's inferior and all. Mm -hmm. And we are not saying anything about manufacturing in the country, yeah. yet we'll take this Taxpayers' money. money out. What are we saying? Okay, so mind, but mind, mind you, uh, this is going to add to the increment of dollar because yeah, it's not obviously. a small money. If you do 300 by 130 million, it's going to enter. Uh, in fact, let's yes, let's 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 let me let me please just do the calculation. Let's have the figure. No, we have it's money. not like Nigeria don't have money, but it is the way we channel our, our we funds. We have money, yes. So this is going to yes. be three. Yes. If the money is not, they are not taking billion. a loan to to pay for this. Three point nine billion naira. 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 Yes, that's the thing. And naira. even if they are taking a loan to purchase um these vehicles, is it the right thing to do? When we have other issues to be taking care of. Now the question is. We have security is, issues the in the country. The question is, I understand. I understand. I, I understand. I understand um all the. Serenity about the securities and everything, but the issue is the vehicles that we have bought before. Where did they Thank go? Thank you. 
thank you very because much. Because at so, least, at least, I've not, I've, I don't know how many is assigned to a senator, but I know that the ones that I've seen, because I was on the, um, I was on the island the other day, and I was going towards the TBS terminal, and I heard that uh, what's his name, uh, Femi Bajabi Amila came and was passing. So I counted the number of SUVs that mm. were there. And at least I could, I could count like up to 10 or up to um, 8, 10 thereabouts. Yeah, that's, that's the former National Assembly Congress. Okay. I, I so, know what I'm saying so, is this. Yeah. Now he was a former um, speaker. speaker. Now he's no more a speaker. Yeah. Now the vehicles he were using, were they official or they were not official? Okay, so now where are the vehicles? Or did they trans as he's now? Okay, the chief so of thank staff you. Before we begin to speak to where are the former vehicles? <laughs> and hold on, hold on. Before we begin to hold on, hold on, we agree. But before before we begin to speak to where are the former vehicles, who did they give them to? Did they take them as um, take away? and all of that. Really, let's speak to um, the advantages of um, a thing like this, if you think there are any. For me, if you ask me, this could improve oversight capabilities. If you like ask... How? 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 Like how? Okay. Okay. Honestly how? speaking, how? the only, the only logical... Done. The only logical explanation to them buying a three a one hundred and thirty million naira SUV is just because it is armored. That is when you shoot at it. It's it not many It will not That's that. the only reason I can see that is logical. They, they get so, so 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 are we saying that they couldn't they, hold on, hold on. Are we saying that there are no other vehicles? That are oh, well, and that, that won't be as this expensive. M mind you, majority of our uh, uh, senators and all that they don't actually travel for long on the road. Yes, definitely. so they fly. They fly mm. most times. So, so, so most times they are within their their, their states. Within their states, that is when well, they use this. Um, another thing, another yeah. angle looking yeah, at it is. Oh, no, no, no. Another angle looking at it is their jobs actually is not really <coughs> to just sit down in the office and make laws. Okay. Now, there are people who are doing that, okay. that are supposed to, that they can sit in the office. They are representing a particular geopolitical zone. That we don't get to see them until exactly. el election time. So now, the cars, the cars are meant to transport them in between these uh, communities, these states, for them to know what is happening, which they do not. They don't have offices. They, I, they only I, visit you know the it. Irony of I, they don't drive that car, alone, they drive it for the Okay, guys. so let me ask um, well, uh, um, Francis, actually, what do you have to say to this? And again, I want to add, are you seeing this as an extravagant um, spending? Well, actually, let me, let me give you my own idea from the local government angle. Okay. That's where I'm coming from. You see, in the local government, formally, when vehicles are bought for honorables, for official duties and stuff like that. When they are going, when they are leaving the office, they leave the vehicle behind. Which I think should be the right thing. But later, the government find out that most times those vehicles are being damaged or used anyhow. So they decide to change the idea and said, okay, once you are buying this so vehicle, so that you can maintain it. So once you are buying this vehicle for you now, it becomes yours. It becomes yours. So we're removing some stipend from your account okay. until when the money is completed then when you are going you go with the vehicle now on the issue of uh, Femi Bajabi Amila that the lights talked about you see those cars that you see <clears throat> that Femi Bajabi Amila is using is at the National Assembly complex in Lagos the, the, those cars are being put there for any National for Assembly years. members that comes to Lagos or that wants to go to the southwest we have been in the south south. So how many cars are there? Mm, I can't say the numbers. Okay, so let's because speak. Let's I, speak to the now, real issue. Let's, let's speak now, to the sorry, real issue. Now, what, sorry, let's leave how many cars or which car is parked or so, not. So, but, let's speak to the issue. But but to my ground. own level of understanding, I don't think it is necessary for the government to buy such numbers of cars at that rate hmm. because the economic is is fluctuating. Are you getting my point? But one thing I don't really understand is just that. I read that thing on the social media. How true is it? I don't know. Okay, so, so um, 
I mean, we just wanted to have a conversation around it briefly. It's not okay. something we want to flog okay. because of our time. Let's have your take on this um, while we move on. And we'll call um, it today. Our, our economy is, our economy is very, well, it's, it's um, I don't know the right word to use. The dollar is very high, extremely high. Um, our Naira is losing value by the day. Um, the situation around the state, especially in terms of poverty and eradicating that so-called poverty, is not even moving anywhere at all. And we are hearing that um, um, senators want to spend, House of Representatives um, want to spend um, 130 million on um, luxury cars. Well, um, I think not 113, 130, 130 on each million, car. Yes, on each car. I think it's um, it's for now. I mean, later in the future, when our economy is standing upright, <laughs> we can permit them to do that. But now, I think the the utmost and um, the function or their main objective in being in that position is for them to revive, make decisions that will revive the economy and not for them to look for how they will be transporting themselves to places. If um, the, um, I, I was watching the other day, um, the Prime Minister of um, the UK was on a bicycle going to go and shop in the mall and I was asking myself, the excuse that our own give to us is that um, so, um, somebody can come and shoot them and they are gone. I know that in there are instances like that. But the question is, if you are doing the right thing, will mm -hmm. you have people that will be looking? Come after you. So if you are not putting your hand in dirty places, will you have people that will be looking? The truth of the matter is to keep your hands clean. When your hands are clean, at least the the rate at which people will want to kill you will be reduced. Will be reduced. All right. Thank you. Amaka. Let's have Amaka. Good men that were assassinated now. Yes, we are agree with you. Let's have Amaka. Yes. I'm coming from an angle. Okay. Our, our mental health is citizens. When I saw that, that news, I don't know, my head shaped. <laughs> okay. Now, we are, our, our economy is instable. Like this, like this, like this, like this. And then you came out, you said that you want to buy SUV, Amo SUV, what, 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 You see, when they, even, when they even speak about the existing procurement law, the accordance with the existing procurement law, I was like, in the first place, how should we have how come about you know having a thing like this in the law in the constitution. i even yes. think i think um the the re, I, I think the house of rep need to come out and explain further on why they there's it because i this. remember the last why time such should be i remember the, the last time we were having the constitution i, I mean according the to the story they said, no. is it, is it, they said in grace. accordance with Great. existing yes procurement law the reason why i'm you saying see, this see, is that, that i remember the last time that, when that the law. house of rep okay. were having this saga about salary mm. when people were shouting that what are they doing that they yes how much they're paying them and they came out to also say that the salary the staff. whole money is not going to them that um, their salary is for the staff and that they are working for and other necessities that need to be taken care of in the office okay so obviously i don't see any good reason for these vehicles, though, okay, so or at least they should come out and explain to us. Okay, so you, let's let's have the so route. As I was saying, to buy a more SUV vehicle for each senator, why there are so many sectors in Nigeria that you can put this money into? We have health, we have education. Why will you just wake up one morning and say you want to buy? So what's your what's your what's your take? What's your advice? I feel this is extravagant to me. Okay. Why not take this money and put it into government budgets? Just like we spoke on one program today, Business Insights, where they're even 26.1 um, trillion naira for Nigerian budget. Why not put it into this so that we can help grow the economy, we can put okay. it into different sectors that they are having loops hope. Okay, thank you. Let's have, let's have Our oh, inflation rate right now is at 26.72%. And we're taking for each member of the House of Rep, 130 million. Naira. Whether it makes sense, it's like the bridge. So it's it's no brainer. Like it's no brainer. Huh? Why not we deal decisively with insecurity? Ah, Nigeria. Wait now. How did we get to the point where people will tell us they need hammered vehicles? So, so what, what, about the citizens? what happened to the what about the, the guys running? The people traveling from uh, Kaduna to to Meduguri and all. Oh. <laughs> 
let's get let's do the right thing let's do the needful insecurity has been the okay so let's do how much three point how yes, much 3.9 billion yeah. let's push that and say guys face let's deal with decisive in the next six months let's see what how we manage it so that our guys will not have to be telling us mm. that, they need yeah. place very soon mm. Abi, the thing is, you have been joking. Okay. All right, let's have you. Let's have you. Why? Why? I don't think. I don't think this thing, this issue, is in the Nigerian Constitution. I think is is in the House rule, standing rule. Because in the House of Representatives, they have their own rules. They have their own power. Their rules can, that's what we are saying. Either in their rules the or not, but, why should but, that but be my, my, a major? My 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 point is just that I don't think it's necessary. For us to be spending that kind of money at this particular point in time. At any point in time, God. Yeah, you understand? Even if we are fighting war. You see, because because you are using taxpayers' money mm -hmm. to buy all this bulletproof car and whatever. But what about the the payee, those who are paying the tax? You are mm -hmm. not even considering them at all. You see, sometimes I wonder. That's the reason why I see most people trying to assassinate their opponent each time the election comes around, because of all these things. And you know the worst part about this tax okay. money is the ones who are in the office mm. sitting down and Doing the job. have their own, have their even driving cars, have their own ways, or let me even tag them as the big men of the country, mm. have their ways of manipulating and not the paying tax. tax. Yes, very Why true. the ones who are trekking mm. at the yeah, end of, this, the, end of the month, nose. tax will be deducted from their salary Definitely. automatically. Yes. yes. And you are yes. not coming to tell, tell us that them, you they want should not use cars. You, you want to use cars. <laughs> if right, you guys. want to use cars, save for it. Okay. Every month, save one, one million for the next 130 months. You will make your 130 million to All buy right. your... I guess you've made your point, right? Definitely. All right, thank you very much. Nigeria. All right, thank you very much. Um, well, we've made our point, and for me, I really also want to say that um, um, this is not encouraging because um, there are a lot of issues to be taken care of. There are debts and debts and loads of debts, you know, that Nigeria is owing. I don't think the next thing we should be considering is spending 130 million naira on a car. I mean, that's not um, good enough if you ask me. If there are ways to um, reverse it, I want to call upon... Um, uh, members of House of Representatives should please do so. Channel this money, like Amaka earlier said, channel it into appropriate, you know, channels where they will be more utilized, where they will be yes, more so. useful, where people will see and applaud you and say, oh, Grace, you, you guys are doing Grace, well. did you see the uh, budget proposal that um, Tunipu's government made? 26 yes. trillion. Yes. And yes. how much was how much was to service debt? Yes. 8 trillion. Yes. For you to know how... How high our debt, debt rate is. is. As yes. someone said, that money will not even be enough. It's Anyways, and you know um, how much we are owing. And that's it. And that's it. So um, we'll come again tomorrow with something very, very interesting. We know it's going to be a conversation you would like to be part of. I want to promise you by tomorrow, we will read your comments on... I mean, if you drop a comment online, when you watch, when you listen, we will definitely come here to read. It's a promise across my heart. <laughs> it's a promise. We're going to read it. All right, guys. So... We'll see you tomorrow. Do have an amazing time out there. Thank you for being part of the show. We love you. Bye.